Hey guys, this is iReview15, and today we're going to be taking a look at Word 2010. This is the beta version of Word, and there will be many improvements as the beta version moves on. So we have Word 2007 open side by side, so we can do side by side comparisons. The first major difference you'll notice is that the office button right here has been replaced in 2010 with the file or backstage button. The backstage button has many new improvements and useful features that will help you in editing and working with your Word documents. First of all, you can see your properties right here to see how when you created it, your time, your words and pages, etc. You also have your features from 2007, your recent documents and your new documents. But then when you go to your print section, you get some new features that make it easier to print. If you have all your different layouts and settings put right here so it's easier to access. And you also get a big print preview. So whenever you change different sizes, it gives you all the print preview instead of having to go into different sections to get the print preview. Another handy feature is sh the share section. SharePoint section lets you save it to your SkyDrive, which is a Windows Live um, attachment, which used to be only an add-on, but now it's built in. And you also have Save to SharePoint. SharePoint is a program that comes with all Microsoft Office 2010s, and it lets you collaborate with other people and work on the same document at the same time, which is useful for working groups. You also have to convert to PDFs or XPS files. This used to be a feature that's only available on Word when you add an add-on, which sometimes would be free or be expensive. Now it's built right in and it's easy to do. Start, now when you go to the home, you'll see, notice that there's the same layout, and when you switch back and forth, there's not many differences that you can notice. One difference you'll notice in the home section is the text effects. Text effects used to only be a feature that was available in Publisher and PowerPoint. But now it's available across all the all the programs in the Office 2010 suite. Here you'll notice that you do not have text effects, but you still have instead this uh, the case changes. Moving to insert, you'll notice the biggest difference is the screenshot button. The screenshot button allows you to do different windows and take a picture of the window you're t working on. then you can use that picture wherever you want. You also notice another feature that's uh, in 2010 is the picture tools. Picture tools has always been an easy way to edit your pictures in an easy way, in a fast and simple way. Now you can see there's more there's no more frames and presets. You have a picture layout section, which is incorporated with the picture smart art, which we'll get to later. And you also have some more picture features like color which was originally on the side but now you have a big section and it gives you a preview of your actual image while you're going through your color artistic effects which wasn't available previously which is almost like the filters in photoshop and then you also have corrections which was brightness and contrast before this used to be a feature that you could only use in adjusting in with percentages and numbers now you have previews you also have a remove background feature, which can work sometimes and can you can mark sections that you want. So this is a this is a these are new handy features for picture editing. Now moving back to insert, you know then smart art, you'll see the pictures. This is how we used picture before to put smart art and organize your pictures in cycles, processes, lists, or any other smart art feature. So now moving on to page layout. As you go through page layout, references, mailings, review, and view, you'll notice that they're the exact same features. There's almost no f new features, maybe some renames of some features, but otherwise it's the exact same thing. In some cases, they have added new additions, so new footers or new headers, but otherwise it's the same thing. When you, when you notice that in tw 2010, Notice that there's a bit of a change in the design. And the normal design when you see a 2010 video will be in silver. And this is the simple design that some people may like and some people might may not. Depending on how you like the 2007, you might you'll either like or hate the 2010 design. 
This has been the first look of War 2010. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and be sure to check out our new website, www.ireviews.mfbiz.com. Thanks.